When I got out of prison, I couldn't even go into Costco without having a panic attack. My name is Jesse and I spent 19 years in Virginia prison and today I went and I did all my shopping and I got a rotisserie chicken and I didn't even eat the whole thing in the parking lot and that's a sign of progress. And I don't often give myself credit for that progress or that change because I'm looking for something big and monumental. Like the day I got out of prison it felt like the whole world shifted. But the reality is that was a culmination of daily habits and daily practices over years. It wasn't like I was ready to get out just because it happened. No, it was practice and it was intention and it was effort. And I have to remember that and I have to give myself credit for those small changes. To go from not being able to go a place without having a panic attack to being able to go to a place without having a panic attack is a huge shift. But it doesn't feel that way because it just feels minute and it feels like it just happened over time. And so I try to look at those small things and I try to look at those daily habits. And it's that line that excellence isn't a quality, it's a habit. I always come back to that because I am going to be the things that I do day after day after day. It's not going to be the thing that I do once. And our society likes to define people by that. Oh, he's a Super Bowl winner. Oh, he did this terrible thing. But there's a one moment from an entire lifetime. That's not how it really works. Like that's not who somebody really is. And that's one of the reasons I think people end up in these really lonely, miserable existences. Because they keep living for that one moment and all those other minutes, all those other years and decades, they feel like don't have value because they're chasing that one moment. What I found in prison is when you strip all that away, all there is is to be and to find a way to be happy and meaningful in the world to meditate, to exercise, to connect with other people, to help and share and learn and entertain myself, to do all the things that make me happy and that connect me with other human beings. And that's it. Because out here in the world, it's so easy for me to get caught up in things. Oh, well, I, I need this or I need that or I need security or I need, you know what? A year and a half ago, I didn't have any of that stuff. I didn't have a house or a car or a place to live or personal, I didn't have any of that and I was okay. If 19 years in prison didn't break me or didn't destroy me, none of this stuff out here will, but that's not what my brain tells me. And as James always says, the habit force is strong. So whatever that habit is, that habit that clings to desire for security or desire for connection or desire for being sure, it gets in our head and we have to work on it day by day. I have to recognize each day that, hey, this isn't true. That just because this feeling comes up doesn't mean it's a fact. Okay, I need to come back to that because I'm gonna forget again tomorrow and I'm probably gonna forget again the next day and I'm probably gonna forget again the next day after that. And that's what meditation is for me. It's a reset, it's stopping, it's pausing. It's letting all those kind of crazy trains just keep on running and I don't have to run with them. I can see them for what they are because if I don't stop, if I don't pause, I'm right on that train. I'm believing all those things that my brain is telling me. I'm believing all those feelings are facts and I'm caught up in a reality that isn't a reality. And that's almost a worse place to be than prison because that place, I'm not really present. I'm not really doing the things that make me happy. I'm not really engaging with other people. I'm just chasing some dream. And it's like an addiction. It's like a compulsion. And I hate to say, but it's the thing where I feel the most lonely in the world. And I find myself sometimes going there and I'm trying to not, I'm trying to come back and come back to this routine because this routine is what allowed me to be happy. This routine is what allowed me to be the person that I am. And today I am grateful for the person that I am. I'm grateful for the experiences of my life and I'm grateful for the challenges that give me the opportunity to come back time after time after time to the routine that makes me happy.